Hi there, welcome to this two minute tip video and today we're going to look at wind noise reduction. So in a previous video we looked at the functionality around frequency response which is around audio recording and the frequencies that the mics are tuned to pick up. Wind noise reduction again is about audio recording and therefore very related to video production and the functionality in the Z series cameras around that. Whilst the in-camera microphones aren't the best solution for video recording, sometimes they are quite useful when we're trying to capture perhaps some ambient noise. Um, and I found the, the microphones in the Z series to be slightly better, especially when married with the Z mount lenses which are near silent. And therefore sometimes I have used the in-camera mics and one of the problems though is that they are very susceptible to wind noise. Now on my Z7 what you'll see is I've fitted some little dead cats over the mics which helps to reduce um, wind noise. But you'll also find um, in the um, video shooting menu on the final page, the fourth page, right at the top, wind noise reduction as an option so, and if you go in there you can turn it on or off and if you turn it on the camera uses a low cut filter to try and um, remove some of the wind noise. Now just be warned it can affect other noises in that frequency range so it can have a slight effect but let's take a listen to the effect it has. You may need to have headphones on to really hear the difference um, in, in these video clips because they are quite subtle. And this is with wind reduction turned on. So this is with um, wind reduction turned on. So this is with um, wind reduction turned on. So there you have it, a couple of examples with wind noise reduction on and off. Now I've tested that functionality in three or four different scenarios with different audio settings set. And I've found it a little bit lacking in all cases. It's not a piece of functionality that I'm going to rely on. So let me know in the comments below what you thought of it, whether you've found different results when you've perhaps tried it. This video nearly ended up on the cutting room floor. However, with modern mirrorless cameras, it's really important to know the limitations of the functionality as much as how the functionality works. And that's why I've put this video up on the channel. From my experimentation, I'm not sure the low cut filter on auto wind noise reduction really works um, as well as it needs to at this stage. And that's worth knowing. It's not a piece of functionality that I'm going to rely on. As you'll know, there are limitations to the in-camera mics for obvious reasons. If you want to create really quality audio, you are going to have to use an external mic, whether that's one that is just wired into the 3.5mm socket on the side of the camera and then um, hosted on the hot shoe on the top, or whether it's more sophisticated and a wireless um, lav mic like I'm using to get really close to the source of the sound. It's really worth investing a little bit in the approach you take to audio if you want to create really quality video content. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell and you'll be notified of future videos. As I say, let me know in the comments below whether you've had a different result from using wind noise reduction on your Z series camera. It'll be really interesting to know. And I look forward to seeing you on a future video.